Diddy believes that the cross-country raids on his several properties this week amounted to a gross overuse of force. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. A statement from the music mogul's legal representative Aaron Dyer, in which the camp expressed opposition to the federal authorities' inquiry, and made it clear that Diddy and his family members had not been taken into custody. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military-level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' residences, the statement reads. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs was never detained but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush, paired with an advanced, coordinated media presence, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. According to reports, federal law enforcement officers searched Diddy's residences in Miami and Los Angeles on Monday as part of an investigation into the multiple charges of sex trafficking he has faced recently. Southern District of New York is the case's primary location, according to a police source cited by TMZ. Social media users are sharing aerial video of the incident that Fox 11 captured. Justin and King Combs, Diddy's sons, appear to be handcuffed in the video. It's unknown if Diddy was present on the property. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. Two more women filed identical claims after Cassie's lawsuit, all of which he has since refuted. Another lady has now come forward, claiming that she was gang-raped and sex-trafficked when she was 17 years old by the billionaire and others. The unidentified woman asserts that she encountered Diddy in a New York City studio during her high school years, and claims that he gave her drugs and drink and invited her to sit on his lap. She claims that after that, Diddy, Harve Pierre, and another unidentified man all sexually abused her. Pictures from her meeting with Diddy seem to show her in the studio, with what appears to be her lap. Following news of the suit, Diddy has taken to Twitter to once again deny any wrongdoing. Enough is enough, his message begins in all caps. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family and for the truth. The letter is in line with past comments Diddy's team has made in response to the several cases. His purported victims were accused by a representative earlier of exploiting the Adult Survivors Act and characterizing their lawsuits as a money grab. With the bad boy mogul and his business empire coming under increasing legal scrutiny, 50 Cent has alluded to creating a movie titled Surviving P. Diddy. Recent accusations against Diddy have sparked a pop culture firestorm, which some people are keen to investigate or take advantage of. Furthermore, 50 Cent, his competitor, made frequent comments regarding these advancements, implying that this is just the beginning of a lengthy series of reckonings. Indeed, it appears that he might have been correct, as the bad boy mogul is currently dealing with a number of fallout from these statements. In addition, these include sponsors pulling their support from him, charges against other label executives, and much more. Overall, the G-Unit leader considered all of this and concluded, wow, this could make for a great addition to my cinematic universe. I told you they was coming, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 SMH, 50 Cent wrote on Instagram on Wednesday, sharing various headlines of the fallout of Cassie's now settled lawsuit against Diddy. This is a movie surviving P. Diddy or Diddy. Do it or not executive produced by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson coming soon. We can't really tell if he's kidding or not, of course, considering his background in creating successful television programs and other forms of entertainment. Even still, there's a very good likelihood that he will try to have it approved, given the Queen's icon. 50 Cent made reference to a number of topics, including the Jane Doe lawsuit filed on Wednesday accusing former bad boy head Harve Pierre of sexual assault. She alleges in it that Pierre molested and abused her sexually. The lawsuit names Combs Enterprises, Bad Boy Entertainment, and Bad Boy Records as co-defendants, however Diddy is not included in it. Shopping or some shit, I mean like, I paid for it, and I was like, what the fuck this nigga just say? 50 Cent's 2010 rant against Diddy regarding his relationship with Cassie has resurfaced following the accusation of rape by his ex-girlfriend. In an interview with DJ Woo Kid on Shade 45, 50 claimed he was sent explicit photos of Cassie, and confronted Diddy over the phone about it. Matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures, like pictures of his girl, like he said, referring to Cassie. Not the shit that y'all saw. Worse, way worse. Like penetration pictures. I called the nigga. I said, Yo, you really, you fucking with this girl? Like you really, like you like her? He said, Yeah, that's my girl. I'm gonna send you something. You look at it. You call me back. He continued. I sent him the photos, the pictures, and everything. 
And the nigga called back and was like, yo, thanks, man. Y'all really appreciate that. Yo, where you get these shit from? They know if something crazy is going on, if they send it to me, I'll make sure it gets out there. So they send it to me. I really kind of felt like those photographs were not happening because of Cassie. I felt like they were happening because of Puffy. During the interview, 50 also referred to Diddy as a bitch and mocked him for his Diddy, Dirty Money trio, implying that he teamed up with Don Richard and Kalen a Harper in order to be the hot one in the group and attract other men. He added, he'll tell you himself, what happens in Miami, stays in Miami. Later you will find out the little shit that I be saying man. Keep checking back for the most recent Diddy news and updates. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comment section and most importantly subscribe. See you.